men think that we want to hear that they're not talking to other women i am so sorry but like please tell me that you get bitches because if you tell me you have no hoes i'm sitting here wondering why wow and then i'm questioning like why do i like you because why do i want to be with a man with no bitches who can't pull bitches like ew contrary to popular opinion this is how a lot of women think but not just women men too you ever be with your boys and stuff like that you really like find a female attractive and you be like man that girl's a baddie and all your boys be like uh it literally changes your whole mindset about that female like you like she could literally be fine to you she could literally be like a dime to you and if your boys don't think she look good you're gonna be like nah i'm good i think that has a lot to do with the average person having a hurt mentality but that's just how we are we're communal people we, we relate to other people we get along with people that we relate with think people that we have things in common with that's just how we are but women tend to have it a little bit more than men see if you go to a club and situation you ever been at the club i'm just gonna i'm just gonna make this relatable you ever been at the club and stuff like that and then you want to talk to a female and she's like really feeling you like you know what i'm saying but then her homegirl, like her one of her friends takes her hand right in, when you're in the middle of conversation takes her hand and pulls her away that doesn't happen with dudes if a female is talking to a dude and you with your boys and stuff like that your boy ain't gonna pull your hand away and even if your boy be like hey bro but we gotta go you might be like hey y'all go ahead I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue to talk to her you see what i'm saying so yes we both are like that but women are like that more because they say women are the more communal the more social of the group in a lot of instances women rely on other women's opinions in order to form their own opinion you ever realize in a lot of situations women will start you know they'll be around their friends and stuff and they'll get dressed and they're like girl what does this look like does it look good and then their friends are like, ah oh, girl don't wear that her whole opinion of what she was wearing even though she thought she looked good will change based on her friend saying hey girl no girl don't do that not realizing the whole time them females could be haters she could be the the one that's putting on the clothes could be the prettiest one out of the bunch but all she could be prettier than all her friends but since her friend said don't wear that she thinks that means oh it doesn't look good and literally it will change how she feels about it and you may not want to admit this but a lot of females got mad at her for saying that but they were really getting mad at her for admitting the truth she's one of the bold the few bold females that actually admit the truth Female, that's why, bro, that's why most females always want to get the cream of the crop type of men. And there's nothing wrong with that. You see that all throughout the animal kingdom. You do. It could be five males. It could be five females. Only one of them dudes, the alpha out of all those males, is the one that gets the privilege and benefit of mating with all of the female uh, animals. It's competitive out here. You know what I'm saying? You can't get mad that females are like that. That's just how it is. You can either cry about it or you can become the best version of yourself. But if you don't do anything about it, you are going to be a virgin. But that was just a little joke. I used to, be, you know, make a lot of music and rap and stuff. So I still have those puns and those bars that come to my head, the top of my head. Anyway, <laughs> so all in all, her statement was females like what other females like you. Well, how do, other, how do you get other females to like you? Number one, you have to look handsome. You know what I'm saying? If you're not really that handsome, then you got to have money. If you don't have a lot of money, then you got to have status. One of those three things. Or you got to be extremely good at something. Really funny, really cool, really something. Something that stands out. So even if you don't get girls as long as they think you get girls because you have something that stands out, you gonna she going to like you just because, just because she think you get girls because you have some amazing talent or you have something that stands out that's super, that stands out above and beyond everybody else but you gotta have something i actually heard a female say that she was like i don't care what you do at least but be great at something you see what i'm saying because women also too are thinking about their lineage they thinking about like if i mate with this guy if i have a child with this guy is he going to be a cornball women don't want that they want a man they want men who have the best of the best genes whether they be ambitious, whether they be a musician, whether they be funny, whether they be strong, super handsome, something that's great. Something that's great. You dig what I'm saying? So be the best version of yourself. Everybody has a gift that God has given them. Gift or gifts. Some people have multiple gifts. That God wants us to use in this world to bless other people and serve other people. Some people say serve. Some people say bless. Either way, it, that gift you have is to bless other people and help other people out. So if you're funny... So if you're funny, you're funny to make other people laugh. And yeah, it's going to bless you too, ha having that gift. If you're a musician, yeah. You see what I'm saying? If you're intelligent, it's to help solve problems. But your gifts are to bless other people. And I feel like for some reason, I feel like women are attracted to men who have these types of gifts. I mean, who, who 
men who are great at something. 